Welcome back to Smitty's Learning Room. Today we're going to have a look at um, the next part of the syllabus for sports med and we're going to explore soft tissue injuries. So if you haven't already watched the video on classification of injuries, you'll need to watch that before you watch this one. So we're looking at the focus question, how are sports injuries classified and managed? And we're looking at the learn about dot point soft tissue injuries. So we're going to explore tears, sprains, and contusions, skin abrasions, lacerations, blisters. And with the inflammatory response, we're going to have a look at that in another video combined with the management of soft tissue injuries. So soft tissue injuries are injuries to the tissues in the body. So for example, muscles, skin, uh, ligaments, and tendons. The first soft tissue injury we'll have a look at is a tear. Now, these are injuries to the muscles, tendons, and ligaments. Now, tears are identified when these tissues are partially or completely torn. And so they're caused by tight muscles. So if an athlete hasn't exercised for a while and their muscles are very tight because they haven't stretched or they haven't been exercising, that can cause a tear. Sudden movement, so changing from one direction to another and a sharp object um, actually embedding within the skin and tearing the muscle. Now, having a look at the treatment for a tear, it's RISA. The next soft tissue injury we look at is sprains. Now, sprains are injuries that affect the ligaments in the body. Now, ligaments hold the bones and joints together. So if you see a little picture here, they're the ones that are holding the joints together. So sprains only occur to ligaments and generally sprains are caused by incorrect technique, so incorrect landing technique um, or running technique or um, hitting or throwing of a ball, um, and also too of uneven playing surfaces. So for example, a cross country runner might be prone to sprains in the ankle due to the uneven running surface. And again, just like a tear, the um, treatment for this is RISA. So moving on to strains. Now these are injuries to the muscle or tendons. So tendons attach the muscles to the bone. So we can see here in the picture here that we've got the muscle belly and attaching that muscle to the bone is the tendon. So a sprain happens to either the muscle or the tendon attaching the muscle to the bone. And again, these are caused by incorrect technique or uneven playing surfaces. And the treatment for strains is RISA. So when we look at sprains and strains, we need to grade them um, in order to identify what type of treatment needs to be done or how long the rehabilitation process needs to go for. And so when we look at sprains, which are to the ligaments, um, we can see here that this is a knee joint and this is what the normal knee joint looks like. If we look at a first, um, sort of a first grade sprain, you can see that there's a little bit of a, um, a stretch within the ligament there. When we see a second grade strain, a sprain, sorry, um, you'll see that there's more damage in that might be a partial tear to the ligament. And then a third grade sprain is actually where we have a complete torn ligament. Now moving down to strains, which is the muscles and tendons, and we have a look at this um, back here in the back of the leg. And we'll see that a first grade is similar to a sprain in that it's just a little slight tear there. Now, a second grade is actually quite uh, a bit more severe tear, and you'll see that it's tear and also stretching of the muscles, and the muscle fibres have actually sort of started to break down. And then we look at the third grade strain, and that's where, like a ligament, we have some serious tearing and damage done of the uh, muscle or tendon, and it can also be a complete tear. So the next type of injuries we have a look at are contusions. Now these injuries result in internal bleeding as a result of internal tissues being damaged. So often you might refer to these as bruising. Um, some, common, some common contusions could be a knock to the head or uh, a bump to the shin, um, areas where the skin is relatively thin and there's not much tissue between the bone and the skin. And these are caused by collisions with another player or object. And like other soft tissue injuries we've talked about, the um, treatment for contusions is RISA. So now we start to move on to some different types of soft tissue injuries which have uh, management's different to RISA. 
So we start with the skin abrasions, and these are injuries which are usually minor and recognised by an open wound to the skin, which is shallow, so like a graze or a small cut. Um, and this is caused by scraping skin against rough surfaces, harsh contact with another player or object, um, or poor fitting equipment rubbing and causing friction. And when we look at skin abrasions in the treatment, we clean the wound um, and then we apply a non-stick dressing to the wound. So the next one is a laceration. Now lacerations are generally deeper than an abrasion and the soft tissue or the skin is cut and be a clean cut or irregular and jagged. And this can be caused by falling over, catching on another object, direct force with a hard object. Now, if the, um, for the treatment of this laceration, obviously like an abrasion, clean the wound first and then apply non-stick dressing. Um, if the wound or the laceration is quite deep, you may apply some pressure before uh, you apply the non-stick dressing and it may actually require the athlete to seek further medical attention um, to get some stitching done in that, depending on how long and how deep the laceration is. The final soft tissue injury we have a look at is blisters. Now, blisters are injuries that are caused by friction between the skin and another surface. So we often see these sort of on, um, on our feet um, or around areas where our uniform might rub on our skin where it's quite tight. And these are caused by dirty skin or if there's sand or something in our shoes or socks um, or ill-fitting shoes or equipment. So if a shoe is too big or too small or even a uniform is too big or too small, it can cause friction and blisters. And also overtraining. So if the body hasn't had time to recover and the feet haven't had time to air, um, it can provide an environment where the body hasn't recovered. And so therefore there's a lot of friction happening, um, especially runners and um, endurance athletes. And um, this can also cause some blisters. Now, there's a bit of... Um, discussion around how you should treat a blister. Some people will say you'll just leave the blister um, and let it heal itself. Um, if the athlete needs to continue playing or continue training, um, the method would be to, to pierce and drain the blister um, and cover with a non-adhesive dressing and then apply some padding and tape. So usually you apply some padding with a hole um, in the middle of the padding that would go over the blister. And this just sort of supports the area around it because the area can be quite tender and this will allow the player to continue participating. So in summary, we look at our soft tissue injuries and we look at it in three, two groups like this. So we have our, our tears, our sprains and our strains and we deal with these issues with um, RASA. And we'll learn a little bit about RASA in, an, in a later video. Um, and then on this side, we have contusions, skin abrasions, lacerations and blisters. And these are generally dealt with cleaning the, uh, the wounded site and applying a non-stick uh, non dressing onto those, um, to the wound site there. Um, with contusions, obviously that's usually um, not considered in relation to, to muscles um, or ligaments or tendons. But sometimes with a contusion, there can actually be um, blood which comes out and that's why sometimes we need to treat it as both with RASA and with cleaning the wound.